Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Hogwarts Legacy and my first playthrough of the game, playing as a Ravenclaw student on hard difficulty. And last time we started doing some minor quests, some side quests, etc., etc., and that is what we're gonna be continuing with today. I have a bunch of stuff in my quest log, but this guy over here, Deek. He actually wants to talk to me, and that is interesting, because it might be that he is going to unlock more vivariums for me, and that is very, moment. very interesting. Please come and talk to Deke. I will! I am here. What is that you want from me this time? Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. I mean, I wouldn't mind that, but on that note, uh, I have filled up my two vivariums that I currently have with the maximum amount of beasts that I can have, so it's not like I necessarily need it, but uh, yeah, you know what, I would. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then, you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Well, now isn't that just exactly what I wanted to hear? Screw the new Vivarium, I need Thestrals! So that is exactly what we're gonna do, and I have been on the lookout for them, but apparently they are close by, you see. That's not close by, Deke. That's like super, super far away. Uh, but alright, then. How, how can I have missed them? I've been here, I've done stuff. Bloody hell, how did I miss them? Alright then, fine. We have a uh, flu powder station close by, so let's go and get ourselves some Thestrals. Well, I mean, I can see them from here. Bloody hell, is this one of those things where. Um, they actually weren't there uh, before, and they just spawned in now. It could be that, you know. Uh, right then, Thestrals, I can see them, obviously, because I have seen death. So much death, I've killed so many people. And also, by the way, I've been starting to find beasts with a little plus sign next to them. I don't, we'll see if I can find one of these. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, no, yeah, there we go. You have a plus sign next to you. What does that mean? I do not know. Yes. What I do know is that I will gather you, because I'm assuming that the plus sign is, you know, good. Uh, so let's hope that you can't get away. Good. So that was a female. I believe. Yes. Not going to hurt you. So we need a male too. Bloody hell, you went away quite far. Uh, but if I just be a bit sneaky. Fine, thank you. And that is indeed a male. Good, good, good. Let's just get Leviosa. you. Get you into my bag. And I'm just gonna get three immediately because why would I wait for the breeding uh, to get more? Uh, I will get. Well, actually, okay, fine. You can. Everything's all right now. Well, I don't know exactly where. I'm gonna keep these because I have filled out my vivariums. Uh, I guess one of the creatures that I already have will have to sort of uh, go away. Uh, but all right, then, yeah, uh, I do not need to do that because we might actually be able to breed one of these. Uh, so back to Hogsmeade. Well, I say back to, off to Hogsmeade and buy that spellcraft. And that is, of course, located in Tomes and Scrolls. So, hello, time sir. Looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Yes, indeed. You have something new for me, don't you? And the game is nice enough to actually highlight it for me. Good, good, good. So now we can go. conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Now this one, the chopping station. I Do I need that a plant byproduct? 
don't feel like I necessarily need that. And then we have the smaller potting tables, which I absolutely do not need. So, all right then, back to uh, room of requirement. All right then, and with a bit of luck, maybe we get another vivarium immediately. We'll see. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Would you know it, I was vaguely correct. So now we have access to the, the swamp version uh, of Vivarius. And that's actually quite good. I mean, the beach one, I haven't really understood which animals to have on it because it's not like I have any animals that like the beach. I have animals that like this place, though. This is amazing. This actually feels like a cool place to do my uh, my castle. Uh, but all right, then. Let's move over to this. Uh, we need to do a couple of things. We need to have um, the beast feeder first. Uh, so we... Oh, wait. Did I just come from that cave? Yeah, properly did, you know. Uh, so we'll do... Mm, well, actually, not that side. No, over here is better. Yeah, this is a good spot. Right by the log here. So that's that one. And uh, even though I'm not really using it, I'm still gonna go for the toy box. We'll have the toy box over here. Again, I don't really need it if we use it, so... Oh, well. Uh, and, all right, a breeding pen. That's... Uh, okay, that's... Sizable, <laughs> yes. Um, we'll have it angled like that and have it as far back here. Ooh, there's a bit of a thing there. Uh, All right, over here? Yeah, this seems like a good spot. Yeah, over here. I am happy with oh, crap. No, that location. There we go. And use a breeding pen to breed a Thestral. So do I... Here we go. Interact. Release beast. Okay, fine. Uh, let's just do that. I do indeed have quite a lot of uh, animals. So we have the Thestrals. We have the Unicorns. We have the Diricals. And actually, this particular Vivarium can fit another species. And uh, there is one... Wait, yes, some horn, uh, a horn something <laughs> is what I can fill this with. Uh, so there we go, that's all of them. Now, what we're gonna do before we do any of that is we are gonna make sure that we can get the stuff from you. Because I need Thestral hair, damn it. Uh, I need a lot of Thestral hair. hair. Let's just there we go, we can get some from you. Thank you. Three, actually. That's quite good. Uh, oh, crap. Get you. So there's some unicorn hair. Now I can start making my own... Uh, start making my own wands here. Ollivander, look out. Look out for me. Uh, let's see here. Do you recall? Uh, yes, I do need your feather. Okay, it's a bunch of feather stuff. Maybe we should have the hippogriffs here, too, then. So we have all the feather ones. Well, actually, foopers could be here as well. Uh, anyway, let's get over to here. You are anxious to get going. I can see that. Uh, all right, then. She was a species. The Thestral. Breed you. So is that just gonna happen over time? Oh, we have... Ah, we need to do this a few times then. All right, fine. Well, I can do that. So that's uh, 30 minutes before that's done. Right then. 
let's make our way back to Deke, see what he has to say about that. Uh, and that is, yes indeed, on the other side of that one, so that's good. Hello Deke, I did the thing. Could you remind me what I'm to do with the Thestrals, Deke? Uh, release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Uh, come and see Deke when you're finished. Ah, you actually wanted me to be done with it. But all right, then, and half a half hour, we can do that in the end of uh, at the end of the episode. Then, uh, do I? You know, I'll deal with all of that later. Uh, by the way, don't I have like? No, I I did all the uh, gear stuff that I found. I have uh, have actually upgraded a fair few things. But now I can upgrade war. Well, you are already upgraded here. No, there we go. Grab horn. I n don't know what a grab horn is. So I need to find grab horns at some point. But, festal hair. There we go. And then phoenix feathers. Alright, we need phoenixes. But festrals, as you can see, very, very useful. Uh, yes, you too. More phoenix stuff. Uh, that is also grab horn. And also, we can start now, I believe, uh, going up to level 2 ancient magic with the Dirichol feather. That is what I need that for. So I'm just gonna. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh. Yes. Why do you feel like that was a different color? I don't know. But I can go up to ancient magic 2 on all of my gear now. Which is lovely. Now I kind of would like to get concentration too, so we'll see when I can get that. But for now, I'm using all of the Duracall <laughs> feathers here for Ancient Magic 2. Uh, yeah, um, concentration is obviously good because it increases damage of all damage spells. Um, but uh, only level 1 doesn't feel super interesting. Oh, you actually are. What did you. Ah, I haven't actually unlocked the next stage of magic, that's true. Alright, with that done, we can look at something else. And the something else that we're gonna be looking at is... Here we go, Imelda Reyes. I wouldn't mind sticking it to you one more time. Alright, the next location is over here. Here we are. Indeed. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. That is true. Hello, If it Amanda. isn't the fastest Ravenclaw... The I'm not just the fastest Ravenclaw, I'm the fastest Hogwarts student you've ever did see. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. I mean, I whooped you one time. You really want more? Yeah. Did, uh, did I scare anyone else away? I suppose. So... You finally scared everyone else away. Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Oh, absolutely. I definitely got wrong. <laughs> got that uh, answer for me wrong. Oops. Uh, anyway, uh, strong competition, you say? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. And do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. Well, you can say it that all day long. Let's have a go, shall we? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. And we are off almost immediately. So this was supposed to test uh, stamina, they said. I can only assume that this is then going to be a super long, but actually isn't that long. I'm getting the hang of this. Well, someone is ahead of me, so that's a bit of a thing. Uh, we'll get a bit of boost. That's fine. Oh, we need to... There we go. Oh, 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 oh. That's good. Get down to these bubbles. Good job. There's actually fewer rings than last time. Which is a bit curious. Uh, and yeah, trying to steer as efficiently as I can. Uh, 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 no, crap. Missed those. Um, and as I mentioned Brilliant. last time, flying in this game has been um, debated, I suppose. But I don't know. 
just been debated. Uh, but people have their opinions about the flying in this game. And I agree to some extent that it's a bit Excellent. wonky. But the wonkiness is mainly because it's really difficult to do like minor adjustments. You tap, um, you tap the right stick just a little bit, and the game is very selective whether or not it's going to move the camera. Out. So you can see I do like really fast movements sometimes. That is uh, because uh, it's actually quite difficult sometimes to do just smaller movements. But other than that, I don't think that the Flying is half bad. Yes, you are excited, aren't you? Uh, I don't exactly know also, by the way, how much the bonus I got from uh, the guy. Uh, how much that... Oh, crap! How, how much... Whoa, whoa, yes! What the hell happened there? Uh, yeah, how much that little thing did for me. But I'm gonna beat the time in about 20 odd seconds here, so... 30 even. Good job, me. This is rather fun. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. Uh huh. So I like that she did compliment me first, and then it's back to saying that I didn't do poorly, at least. All right, and who else has been put out by your talent then? You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Hmm. If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of my own house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. I will absolutely do that. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. <laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. All right, then. With that done, it is back to Hogsmeade. But uh, before we do that, why don't we be a little bit efficient about it? We have... Uh, da -da 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 -da, not those. Not that. There we go. Spot removal. That is a thing that we can do to get back. As well as... Da -da 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 -da, where are we? Right. Bloody hell. We haven't even done that one. Um... Uh, 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 where are we? Wait, brother, where is the, where is the moon calf one? Oh, it is Biscuit. Yes, find a point you can where Biscuit is else. Those two we should do before we go back to Hogsmeade, because of course, we're returning those to Hogsmeade as well. This is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those booba tubers? All right, then. We are indeed coming up on location. Ooh, is it going to be a cave, then, by any chance? Or, like, even here. Am I going to have to fight a troll? Might be that, you know. A forest troll. Hello. Well, I Just can do this. Wabam. And I can do... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, there we go. Yes, there we go. He's gone. <laughs> oh, ancient magic. You're adorable. Uh... Ah, are my gears lost for... Have I not done... Ah, oops. <laughs> I should have done that. I have so many things. I have so many things. Even with another Merlin uh, trial done and I have more spaces, I still would have enough. Uh, oh, well. So that's some troll bogey. But you know what? Actually, it Rebellion. is... Not in here. Oh, it, it might be. Oh, it is. It is. Hello. 
You are a booboo tuber. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. So five of them in total, you see. Uh, well, I can see. Yeah, I can see them around. So it's not going to be terribly difficult to get the rest. Maybe I actually did have to go kill that troll to get the final ones. We have some spiders, but we do not need to bother spiders. We can just uh, stealth up and deal with that. That should do there it. We go. I'd better get back to Sakarissa now. Absolutely, but before we do that, uh, over to quests, over to take the biscuit, and uh, where are we going for that one? We are going up over in this direction. All right then. Poachers, God, if it was right then, I better be careful. And I have been here before. That's true. So, slice the potion duel is one they're casting reducted. That is, that is a feat that, like, Revelio. doesn't feel easy to know exactly when they're casting reducted and then immediately do a... which one is that? Well, whichever one it is, it's difficult. Uh, I have one that's bugging out and is walking into the cage, so that one is easy to deal with. Lovely. Now, you, on the other hand, can I... Or are you just gonna turn around anyway? Yes, yes, you are. I almost captured a grapple. Uh huh. You say that. Uh, there we go. Gather potions. Do I care about the remaining ones? I don't think I necessarily do. You know. So let's unlock this. Hello, Hamora. Rookwood, don't go down easy. Come, Fringo! You go, but you actually Which saw me. You biscuit? While I was doing that. You'll feel twice the pain if I ever come and find you. Do you know where I am still? Or have you lost interest now? I think you have lost interest in me. Good. So, if you wouldn't mind. Ignoring me just a teensy bit more. If you wouldn't mind going like over here. Hello? If someone you there. Mind go going wrong. there. My friend. I think I won't remember your face. My bite is worse than my bark. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Oh, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Ortega. Stupid. Bam. Oh, Bombarda. Okay. Well, actually, it's more. Bombarda. Ow. No! Damn you! Levioso! No, you don't. Accio! Bastard! Bombarda! Bam! 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 Levioso! And you can fly a bit too. And you're dead. You will not survive this fight! What? Hey! You didn't see me. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. <laughs> So absolutely nothing. Pay for that. So absolutely nothing. You might see me though. Possibly. I've gone in the ether. No mind. You Time are very, soon, very, I... very unperceptuous. The beasts around right here can sleep a bit easier now. So there we go. Uh, that's done. Biscuit. Where are biscuits? You Rebellion. are not here. So, do I find a specific one of you then? That's just a moon calf. Okay. So, what is it that I do? I, it says rescue biscuit. Okay, well, where's biscuit now then? <laughs> Bloody hell, I should, have done, I should not have done it that way. Uh, biscuit. There we go. Biscuit moon calf. Uh, do I. Levioso! I suppose. Suppose I do this. Right. Is this what I do? I assume so. All yes. Right, yes, that is exactly Let's what I do. Let's get you back to Garnif, shall we? All right, then. Back to Hogsmeade. We have done some good work here. And we will start with uh, that guy. Garnif, that's his name. Hello, I got your mooncalf. Garnif, I've rescued Biscuit. 
You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Uh-huh, we are both very, very fine. It was terrifying. No, on this occasion, no, it wasn't really. Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. Uh-huh, cool. Uh, but you know what? It wouldn't be me if I didn't ask for some compensation. You can have her back for the right price. I... of course. I would pay any amount for the safety of my dear Biscuit. Oh, my sweet little Biscuit. My wise, noble Mooncalf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Whisket oh, and I can't thank you enough. Well, you're welcome, and I get 300 gold. And another challenge is complete as well. Uh, all right, then, can I find my way to the sporting goods business? Yes, I can. It's over here. So let's go and talk to Mr. Weeks about my recent success. Back in your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Well, it was a astounding success. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. And if it's anything like last, you will basically call on me right now. Do so you just step outside and you will talk to me? No, actually not on this occasion. I say talk to me, send an owl, because I'm so, so very far away. Uh, so, okay, fine. While we wait, let's indeed do the quest. Why did that say quest updated? That almost makes me a bit worried that something has gone wrong or something. Uh, but alright then, we'll see where she is, if she's still here. She does stand there, so all right then. Sakarissa, I've got the stuff for you. Sakarissa, I found the boo tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Uh-huh. For a slightly higher price, I did have to kill a troll for them. It actually was a spot of trouble. You never mentioned I might encounter a troll. I think you should pay me more. <sighs> I suppose a higher price is less offensive than being forced to regard the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our pubescent classmates. Thank you, and your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. I like how many ways he has to say that someone has, uh, well, pimples. <laughs> A lot of different ways to do that, apparently. Uh, all right, then. Well, Mr. Weeks hasn't gotten back to me. And as he hasn't, we will have to get back on other quests. I don't think that the Festivals are done just yet. So, you know what? All right, then. This is also one of those things that I <laughs> possibly should have done way sooner. But, all right, back to Hogwarts. Let's find ourselves a hidden herbology corridor. And as we arrive, I do see that it, there is someone who wants to have a bit of a chat with me. Oh, Hello, you. Mr. Samantha. Just the person I need. Absolutely. What can I do you for? Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine! 
I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I mean, I gotta say, that's hilarious. Beats for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. Uh huh. Well, all right then. What kind of help does he need? How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Of course I will, but first, all right, where did the curse come from? Just by looking at a door? That doesn't sound reasonable, does it? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother. Not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. All right, well, that was a bit harsh, yes. All right, Jan, well, if I go there, what is to stop my feet becoming beats? How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beats as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Well, I mean, that sounds potentially reasonable. Uh, all right, then, see, yeah, indeed, why, what, what, what was it that Marmaduke had done to become famous? Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. Well, that sounds important, yes. All right then, fine, we shall help. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. All right, then. Fine. That we will do. By the way, I noticed... Right, that is just unlock the door and nothing else. Never mind. Uh, all right, then. And the game did indeed set that as my active quest. We don't want that. We want this one. I think. Yes. <laughs> I was about to say, did I do that correctly? Uh, yes, I did. So where is... Where is said thing of a jig? Oh, hello. No, no, that's just you. I would want... All right, fine. You know what? Show me, please. Okay, we are going back up, apparently. All right, then. Maybe I was completely wrong about how to get there. Yes, I was. It wasn't actually in uh, this place. Okay, ooh, wrong way around again. Get up here. Through. Where are we going, anyway? 
Uh, yeah, I was in the completely wrong way, apparently. Oops. Uh, Alright then, that's fine. Oh, it's annoying. I can't actually do my super move when I'm here. Okay, so we're actually in the completely wrong way. Holy crap. <laughs> we're actually going outside, aren't we? Yes, indeed. Yes, we are. Uh, all right, then. Fine. Should have attempted, or rather should have approached this from this side. Yes. Uh, ooh, hello. Green dragon. Lovely. Oh, that is the... I was about to, That is the saddest snowman, but he actually does move. And you are actually melting. Or are you? No, that, that was actually snow. Okay, never mind. Uh, haven't actually been here. So that's a pleasant thing. Revelio. Are there things here I need to... Oh, yes, there is. Akio. Not that one. Uh, there we go. Oh, I didn't need to do that, the thing that I did. Uh, ooh, well, we have bees here. That's lovely. Uh, Alright then. Yeah, I absolutely have not been here. So that's kind of cool. Okay, well, doesn't seem Rebellion. to be a whole lot else here. Well, we have all right. We Likely, have this astronomy table here. will be best used when it's dark. These dry vines are one that spark away true. from becoming kindling. Uh huh. All right, then. There we go. There's the hidden herbology corridor. Let's see what we find when we enter it. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. And it doesn't look very herbology to me. A bunch of statues and stuff. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Ooh, is that... Is that from... Ah, alright. That's from the... Lumos. First movie, indeed. Uh-huh. Clear you. <sighs> Although Hermione used a slightly more potent version of this. Not something so easy as just a little bit of Lumos. Um, Alright then. As I did see this. This feels... Okay. Have... Lights. Confringo. Let's light them. Because it feels like I should. Yeah. That clears all of that. Get Protego! Didn't need, didn't need to do that. Uh, all right. Oh, Fall of the Dead is done. What well, I say, done. Oh, crap. I did take some damage there. That's fine. So what is that I'm supposed to find here anyway? I do not know. Okay, that's stuff I can... Move. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. That's interesting, yes. Can bring uh, oh, come on. Light that up. Light that up. So you can actually get rid of them by simply doing uh, Confringo as well. Okay. Nope. Lumos. Does it do that? Do we have any... Do we have any such things here? No, we do not. Do I want to go over here? No, there is a chest. Um, Bombarda. Get rid of all of you. Lumos. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Uh huh. Oh crap! <laughs> Who'd have thought? Uh, protego. No, don't protego. Lumos. Again, full slots. Damn it. And I don't really need to pick up these things, because these are always going to be green. Either green or just simply terrible. Uh, but I still want to pick that up. So, there you go. And uh, again, I am not so much in need of uh, money right now, anyway. Uh, Alright then. Jump! There we go. That's a good way to do it. Uh, Alright then. Venomous Tentacula of Sword Giant. Hello. What do we do with you, then? Do we just go and pick it up? I do. Giant Venomous Tentacular Leaf. That's kind Couldn't of bring thing. Lumos. Uh, pick up money. Rebellion. Anything else? Lumos. Anything else? No, doesn't look like it. And there's the way up. Lovely. Nothing too bad in the end. 
And we're back over here. So that is a trapdoor. Ah, I see. Could we not have done that before? I don't know. You you have any news of Marmaduke's crest? I haven't been doing any of that. Chill out. Uh, we need to have a bit of a chat with old Duncan. Um, tell him the good news. I don't exactly know why we were doing that. So it's going to be him uh, actually reminding me, I suppose. Uh, but that's okay. It was really ages ago. C come on. Come on, game. Yeah, it was quite long ago since I actually picked that quest up from the beginning, so... Uh, Alright then, Duncan, hello! Have you found hello. anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? I did! I have a leaf for you. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf! Must have been a giant venomous tentacular! It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Well, you know what? Ooh, I could say I wanted to just keep it here. I don't care enough about that, actually. So you know what? Uh, he can have it. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff Skeen dunking for me. Well, good to have helped you, Harry Potter clone. Because that is basically what you are. And by the way, yes, now that I see this wall, I thought that it might have been something to do with Bombarda. But I also see that it's like everywhere. So I was actually a bit wrong about that. Alright then, well, we're going to make it back to rumor requirement. As apparently we have uh, Festrals being bred. But I did spot this. Let's get that one. Painting of Ili Ilias. Uh, this painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Raxidian uh, by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Doesn't seem like a mouse, but it's mouse Patronus would do that. Thought as much. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, do I care to go in here right now? I do not. I'll leave that for exploration later. Rumor requirement. Here we come. So I suppose we uh, start by actually going to the Vivarium, so that we can uh, get the foal, or is it just done? Seems to be just done. Or are you the new one? Ah, the Festral Offspring. How adorable. Uh, we can actually, yeah, we can do some stuff with you. And you I should let Deke know about the newborn Festral. Uh -huh. uh, but we can do more, we can do more, we can breed some unicorns as well. Because I have one of each of those too. But are you all done to be, so to speak, harvested again? Yes, you are apparently. That's lovely. That is very lovely. Uh, collect, collect, pet. Come on, be petted. Stop eating. There we go. Uh, so that's you. Where's the... There we go. There's the final Festral. The final, I say. The other one. Uh, oh, are you gonna start eating the ground as well? Bloody hell. Allow me to pet you, or allow me to uh, hover a thing that pets you, instead of actually doing it myself. Uh, Alright, then I think I have a deer recall somewhere. Don't I? Yes. No, I did both of the Duracons. I have a unicorn somewhere. You know what? Uh, probably in the pen. Alright then. Let us get back to Deke and tell him the good news. That I have successfully bred a Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. 
As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Well, that's very, very sad, but you must have got what he deserved in the end. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. I mean, if you have any hints as to where I can find phoenixes... Ooh, I need phoenixes as well. And then the horn thingamajig. I still don't remember the name of that one. Uh, but alright then, I think that that is going to be it for this episode. We have a new vivarium, so it's going to be... Am I going to have five vivariums, like four in each corner and then the central one? I don't really know. And at some point I should probably... You know, look through them a little bit. Um, because there are sort of just stuff inside that you can um, explore. And I don't really know exactly why that is. I haven't really been bothered with that right now. So, or rather up until this point. So at some point we should probably get on that as well. Uh, but alright then, in the next episode I think that we really should just keep going. We have... Uh, a lot of quests still, but I say a lot, it is not, it is not that many, uh, but it is a few of them, and if we look at, yeah, here we go, so that actually is a conjuration spell craft, so that's good, but this one, yes, uh, so just level 2, and Ghost of Love, yeah, that one I still don't exactly understand, uh, so yeah, breaking camp, uh, clear the goblin encampments, but that's for Beaumont, so you know what, um, then we should do that, one no actually no we should do them in the other order order first breaking camp and uh, brother's keeper so do those two first then go back because we need to speak with her anyway i think that that is going to be a good uh, good idea so a few more uh, side quests until we pick up with the main story is how i want to do this and then uh, Possibly go back to the main story for, for a little while and then, you know, possibly do a little bit on and off with regards to the side quests. For now though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.